Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion on this Friday, March 19th. I'm Pastor Sharon Taylor coming to you from St. Peter Lutheran Church in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. Thank you for joining us this morning and we hope that you're finding these Lenten devotions meaningful. They come to us from Luther Seminary. So again, today we will hear our scripture reading from John 12. Now among you, those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. Now is the judgment of this world, says Jesus. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. The judgment of God may sound frightening, but it holds the good news that all that works against God will be driven out. Jesus talks about being lifted up from the earth, echoes his earlier assertion that the Son of Man must be lifted up like Moses lifted up the bronze serpent in the wilderness so that the snake-bitten Israelites could look at it and be healed. We are not bitten by snakes, hopefully, but we are sin-bitten, death-bitten, grief-bitten. In the strange economy of God, healing now comes not through a bronze serpent on a pole, but a man nailed to a cross, pouring out his life in love for the world. May we, like the Greeks at the beginning of this gospel reading, seek to know this Jesus. Let us pray. When we are frightened, O God, when our hearts are heavy, Raise our eyes to see the healing that you have accomplished through Jesus' death and resurrection. Vanquish the ruler of this world and draw all people to yourself. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. And now we send you out with a blessing. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen.